All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to build keyword lists. So some simple methods and some free tools that you can use to build a long keyword list. And so you can also find the search volume for those keywords. You don't need any accounts to use this method. So it's a really simple process. So we're going to start with four tools. So we have Uber suggest open. We have infinite suggest open. We have keyword tool.io open and we have searchvolume.io open. So what we're gonna be doing is using the first three tools, so Ubersuggest, InfiniteSuggest, and KeywordTool.io to come up with a list of keywords, and then we're gonna use searchvolume.io to come up with the search volume for those keywords. So let's start in Ubersuggest, and the other thing I have open here where I'm gonna be keeping all my keywords is a Google Sheets. So open up a one Google Sheet, and we have keyword research at the top, and what we're gonna be doing in our first sheet here is having keywords, and then in the second sheet, keyword list with volume. So we're gonna come over to Uber Suggest here first, and what you wanna do is enter the same keyword in all these keyword tools. So for this one, I'm gonna be entering back pain in all three of these keyword tools. Okay, so we'll enter back pain here, we'll click on search. Now Uber Suggest will start finding keywords for us. So it's gonna start with the keyword overview. What we wanna do is click on keyword ideas here to the left-hand side, and it's kind of gonna come up with all these different keyword ideas. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna click on copy to clipboard. So we're just gonna click on copy here. We're gonna come over to our Google Sheet and just right here, we're gonna copy and paste. So that's gonna paste all of these different keywords that we just found in Uber Suggest. So the next thing we're gonna do is come over to Infinite Suggest and I've already entered the keyword here, back pain. All you need to do is come here, enter a keyword and enter add to results and it's gonna start coming up with a bunch of different keywords here. So for this one, what we're gonna have to do is click on export and export all keywords. So we just entered one keyword here and we're gonna export all these keywords and it's gonna open it up into a CSV file. So we have that file open here and what we wanna do is make sure we take all these keywords here in the CSV file so it's 350 total keywords and we're gonna copy and paste all of them directly into Google Sheets. Okay, so we'll copy these here. We're gonna come over to the Google Sheet that we have open, and we just wanna to come to the bottom of where our Uber Suggest keywords are. So we first start with Uber Suggest, and then we have Infinite Suggest. Both of them are giving us around 350 keywords, so we'll copy and paste that here. Okay, so now we have a new list of keywords. So if we scroll all the way down, we're up to about 700 total keywords here. So really plenty of keywords to get started, but let's just take it from one more source as well. So we're gonna come over here to keywordtool.io. And with this one, you can search Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon. It's a freemium tool, so they do have a pro option, but the free option will give you a lot of information. And if we enter back pane here, so just enter that right here, click on search. It's gonna give us a ton of relevant keywords already, so you'll see some of the keywords here. The only thing it doesn't give you is search volume, trends, CPC, competition. So you can get more data if you use the pro option, but what we're gonna do is just take all these right here and we're just gonna click on copy, export all. We're gonna copy to clipboard and we're gonna come back over to our Google Sheet and just paste this one more time. So now what we have is all the way down here to the bottom, so we've pulled almost 1400 keywords, so 1349 total keywords here. And this is all really simple process using those three free keyword research tools. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna come to the top here and we're just gonna come into this column here and we're gonna do equals and unique. So we're gonna be using the unique function and we're gonna plot all of the unique keywords in this list. So you just do an open parentheses here and we're just gonna go from here all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so we take all those rows here and we'll just close it up and click on enter. So now it's gonna pull out all of our unique keywords. So let's see how many we have total by the end of it. Okay, so we have a total of 691 unique keywords that we've pulled from these three different sources. So what we're gonna do is now we're gonna take this column here, so column D, we're gonna copy these keywords and then all we need to do is come into searchvolume.io and we're gonna enter all these keywords right here. So copy and paste those keywords into there and click on submit. Now this is gonna find the search volume for all of these different keywords here. So we can do it by the most popular keywords. You can see back pain, back pain relief, back pain during pregnancy. So we can start really coming up with some different content ideas just by using this simple method. So the last thing we need to do is export this information here. Okay, so now we have this list of keywords and we have the search volume for those keywords. So we'll just take these two columns right here. We'll copy them. We'll come back over to our Google Sheets and we have our keyword list with volume. Copy and paste it right in here. 
and it's already going to be ranked with volume. So now you can pull an easy keyword list here. So you can do this over and over again. You can enter domains in Uber Suggest if you want to come up with some different ideas. You can click on related here. So if you're looking for some other options as well, you can do that. So you can continue to expand on this keyword list, but it's a really simple process to come up with a keyword list. Completely free. You don't have to make any accounts. The only account you're going to need is a Google account, but you can also just do this in Microsoft Excel if you want. So we could just come here, just center out our information. So now what you can start doing is coming up with some different content ideas based on all of these keywords here. So back pain during pregnancy. So that could be something you want to write about back pain causes. So some of the main causes of back pain. Now you're going to find some keywords like this pain in the back of the knee. If that's not relevant, what you can do is just come here and delete the row and just make sure you focus on the things that are relevant. So back pain exercises. So some different exercises that people can do to help with back pain. So when you have here causes of lower back pain, maybe something that you want to do is come over here to the top and just enter causes. And then you can just take out some of these keywords over here and then you can kind of group some of your keywords together. So causes of lower back pain, back pain causes, and you can just use all of this and focus the same piece of content on these similar themes. So it's the same thing, back pain, pregnancy, maybe something right here, back pain remedies. So you can come over here and just do remedies and we'll move it over to the right hand side. And then you have back pain treatment. So maybe you want to focus on those things at the same time. So how to treat your back pain, some at home remedies, um, and then maybe some professional treatment that people can do as well. So you'll see a lot of different things here that have the same exact themes. And then there might be some things that aren't really relevant. Uh, so something like pain in the back of the knee, but you're going to be able to find a lot of different ideas. And ultimately what you're trying to do is cover all of this different information. So as you're going through your keywords, if I start writing content about back pain during pregnancy, about causes of back pain, about different back pain treatment, maybe some back pain symptoms that people experience, back pain stretches that people can use. I start writing about all of that. It'll become much easier to rank for the main keyword of back pain here, which is really what's going to drive traffic. But all these other ones, you can see there's plenty of search volume. So you want to cover all of these different things. Even as you scroll to the bottom, you might see something like back pain in children, back pain after sleeping. So back pain home remedies down here, back pain when coughing, back pain from sitting, from sleeping, back pain therapy, heat or ice. So a lot of different articles that you can write if you're trying to rank for the keyword back pain. So all you need to do is come into these three sources here, Uber Suggest, Infinite Suggest, and KeywordTool.io. Enter your main keyword here. You can do this over and over again. So if you want to cover something else, you can just enter a different keyword here. Copy all of these keywords, paste them all into Google Sheets just like this. Use the unique function over here. So to pull out all the unique keywords and then just enter those right into searchvolume.io, completely free tool. Copy and paste. You can enter up to 800 keywords here and then click on submit and you can export this data. And it's a great way to come up with keyword lists in a free way. You don't have to use any paid tools and you can find some of the top keywords for your business and some of the top keywords for your products and services. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.